Welcome everyone. My name is Professor Soto and I teach career exploration here at Hogwarts and I'm excited to be with you today. This is the sorting hat class and we're going to talk about what that means. So at the beginning of the term at our opening banquet, we were all sorted into our different houses. Let's remember what that means for us. As you may remember, this is what we were told. Right? You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. Their daring, nerve, and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. You might belong in Hufflepuff, where they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. Or yet, in wise old Ravenclaw, if you've a ready mind, where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. Or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make your real friends. Those cunning folks use any means to achieve their ends. And it's quite interesting, even when we get within our houses, there's more that we can learn. It's nice to be with others that share things in common with us. For example, maybe it's our interests and maybe it's our personality or maybe it's our magical abilities, but there's more that we must learn about ourselves individually. And this takes time. I'd like to share a tool with you that can help you it's almost like a sorting of sorts as well. It will match some of your interests, skills, values, personality to occupations that may be of interest to you. Let me show you this resource. If we go to the University Advisement Center website, and this is universityadvisement.byu.edu, I click on that link. This is what it looks like on the homepage. And you'll go to Find My Career. You'll go down to take a career assessment, the second option there. And if you scroll down, you'll see three options. First is the type focus, and this is free. So tell all of your friends at Hogwarts that this is available to them. And within type focus, there are three assessments. One is for values, one is for interest, one is for personality. With all of these assessments, you're entitled to meet with an academic and career advisor in the University Advisement Center. And that might be helpful for you to have a conversation about what the results mean and what that can mean for you in regards to majors and careers. And this, anyway, this whole assessment could take about 35 minutes to complete. Then we have these other two options, the strong interest inventory. There's a fee associated with this one. It costs $10.25 and the charges applied to your My Financial Center. And so interests will tie to your majors and career options. It'll give you suggestions. For example, maybe if you, if you enjoy um, magical creatures and danger, it might suggest that you become a dragonologist. On the Myers-Briggs type indicator, for example, um, this might help you realize where you need to work. It's looking at your personality and give you a personality profile. Um, this is really helpful for those that are um, preparing to consider their work either in the wizarding world or in the world with muggles, right? How do we get along? And what does our work look like? Who are people that are similar to me or different? And what does that mean? And how can we work together? For example, maybe I'm interested in work or not, or I'm interested in law and maybe I should work for um, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. However, there are many people that work there and how do I get along with them? How do our work styles differ or overlap? I want to know that before I get involved. Anyway, there are so many career opportunities within the wizarding world and we're here to help you discover those. And as you do, um, remember that this process takes time and you might have more questions than what you started with as you take these assessments. Remember, they're limited, right? But at least they give you a starting point to have a discussion with yourself and with others about the opportunities that are available to you. And so you wanna keep in mind the words of the sorting hat. And he said, he said um, don't let your life be steered by your reluctance to do a little overthinking. You could be great, you know, it's all in your head. And I would even add that we have the answers within us and that these career assessments are tools to help us have some additional information. So I look forward to seeing you around Hogwarts and we can keep this conversation going. Thank you so much, see you around.